Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Today I would like to share with you a few stories of trusting in God. When I was a novice in 1987, I was sent along with a companion for an experience for one month to stay in the home for the aged at Anderi, Mahakali with the little sisters of the poor. And there I experienced two things very strongly. One was the extreme kindness that the sisters had for all the inmates. And the second was a complete trust in God. Did you know that the sisters don't invest money? Whatever they have for the inmates is not something that they invested, but they depend completely on trust, knowing that the Lord will provide every day their needs. And one way of their trust is in their trust to the intercession of Saint Joseph. Now, when I share these little stories with you, you'll be amazed at the simple, beautiful trust that we have, a kind of biblical trust. But they have their own way of going about it. Now, they, the sisters believe how Pope Francis says, write a little note and put it under the statue of St. Joseph. The little sisters, what they do is, whatever their need is, they place something of that need upon the altar. So, here are some of the stories they shared with me. In one of their convents, they had run short of rice and they didn't know now what are they going to give the inmates the next day because they were desperately short of rice. So the sisters placed some rice on the altar and the next morning to their surprise, early in the morning, someone comes in and brings sacks of rice and places it in front of the sister's door. Another time, the one horse that the sisters had in this home in some country, I don't know where, the one horse was lame and couldn't work anymore. So what do the sisters do? They put a little toy horse on the altar, praying that they would get a horse. A few days later, they find a horse coming into their home for the aged compound and the sisters praise and thank God for answering their prayer to the intercession of Saint Joseph. A little while later, they see a man coming running and they ask the man, what happened? He said, well, my horse escaped from my barn and has come into your compound. And then the sisters explain what had happened and how their, their horse was lame and now couldn't work anymore. And when the man heard this, he said, oh, you'll need a horse. Take this horse for your To the intercession of St. Joseph, their prayer was answered a second time. The third story I have for you. Again in another convent somewhere, the sisters had no fruit to give the inmates of their home. And so now what do you do? They had no fruit. But one of the sisters saw that a branch of the apple tree from the neighboring compound came over the wall. So she went then plucked one of those apples and placed it on the altar at the feet of Saint Joseph. The next morning, they saw the police coming. And this sister was terrified. She thought she was caught now because she robbed an apple from the neighbor's garden, neighbor's compound. And she was really, really scared. And then the police said, my dear sisters, I've got good news for you. Last night, someone robbed some apples and we don't know what to do with them. And so we would like to give them to you. And they brought a whole lot of apples and gave it to the sisters. Well, they offered a robbed apple, they got robbed apples. Well, it's a kind of joke, but the point is a tremendous trust. God always provides. And through the intercession of Saint Joseph, as the sister said, you can't outdo God in generosity. And so once again, I suggest to you the simple trust in God to the intercession of Saint Joseph.